of atomic energy, work on the bomb went steadily forward in closely guarded plants in New Mexico, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford, Washington. For over a hundred years, the city of Hiroshima had garrisoned some of the Japanese Empire's finest troops. The city had never been subjected to actual bombing, but had been warned repeatedly. Now its army headquarters, barracks, ordnance, and quartermaster depots, factories, mills, and shipyards were to feel the weight of the atom's destructive power. Twenty-one days after the New Mexico experiment, a B-29 was over Hiroshima carrying an atomic bomb. At 8.15 in the morning of August 6th, Japanese time, the first atomic bomb struck an enemy target. This is zero point on Hiroshima, the exact spot above the city at which the bomb burst over enemy territory, at the junction of the Matoyusu and Oto rivers. The atomic bomb was intentionally exploded well above its target in order to dissipate its radioactive material. The devastation you see here was caused by the explosion of the bomb above this zero point. Only the strongest buildings are left standing, and they are gutted. Looking north from zero point, this is what was left. Looking east, the camera records a scene of complete devastation in the immediate area. To the south, these are the ruins. Looking west from zero point, the same complete leveling is evident. The same inability of structures to withstand atomic power. Just a tenth of a mile from zero point, the effect of the bomb blast can be seen on these stripped and broken trees and on this Russian-Japanese war memorial. Lines were literally blasted into the stone of the memorial. Here, looking west from the Sanwa building, the side of a concrete smokestack nearest the blast has been discolored. The Hiroshima Gas Company building on the right in this picture has been almost completely demolished by the force of the explosion from above, as though struck by a giant sledgehammer. The reinforced concrete Sanwa Bank building was wrecked even more completely. These twisted steel beams once supported the roof. The direction of the bomb blast can be seen clearly in these scenes of the concrete parapet wall extending above the bank building's roof. Two-tenths of a mile from zero point was a Shinto shrine. Here, too, the blast stripped the trees and collapsed stonework. Originally, the base of this statue was polished granite, but now the stone is roughened by the force of the blast which completely removed the polish. The lighter surfaces which are being pointed out indicate the angle of the bomb blast as though painted on the surface. The nearby lamppost shows flash burns on the side facing the blast. The commercial museum was also within two-tenths of a mile of zero point and the garden wall facing the blast was bent inward by the push of the explosion. The downward force of the blast caused the failure of the concrete beams which supported this roof, and the roof itself has settled so much that it now acts as a reservoir. Looking east, an area of complete devastation is all that can be seen. The railing was blown off this bridge, and the steel poles on the bridge show the effects of the atomic bomb blast, which hurled grit with such force as to etch the steel. The front of this school is a quarter of a mile from and faces zero point. The sag in the concrete reinforced floor can be seen here in the entrance. The steel rods, which are now hanging, once supported a suspended ceiling.
This reinforced concrete building was knocked sidewise, causing the lower story to collapse. This barren area, three-tenths of a mile from zero point, once contained the main Japanese military headquarters. The barracks were utterly destroyed. Most of the military personnel of approximately 20,000 were wiped out. The distorted steel framework is all that remains of a building which stood four-tenths of a mile from zero point. Whereas this reinforced concrete building of the Chikogi Electric Company, one half mile from zero point, withstood the blast much better. Six-tenths of a mile out, destruction was almost as complete as it was at zero point. Wooden structures were completely collapsed by the blast. This was Hiroshima Castle. Its framework was demolished by the force of the blast, but fires of secondary origin did not occur. Because it happened to be at a 45 degree angle to the direction of the blast, the Hiroshima City Hall with its heavily reinforced concrete construction shows much less damage. Doors and windows were blown in by the force of the explosion. Shadows of the posts on Yorozoyo Bridge indicate the direction of the explosion. Six-tenths of a mile from zero point, the bridge floor is etched except where shielded by the railing. Outlined in the surface of the bridge is the shadow of a pedestrian which tells its own meaningful story. One mile from zero point, the blast damage shows lessening force, but the results of fires of secondary origin are still severe. On this side of a steel bridge over the Ota River, one mile away from and facing zero point, the lead paint was almost completely removed by the sandblast effect resulting from the explosion of the atomic bomb. The surface of the other side of the same bridge, however, was not visibly affected. Also a mile away from zero point is a Red Cross hospital, which although damaged, never ceased functioning. This is the front of the building, which faces northeast. On the northwest side of the building, the steel windows and all floors were blown in. This southwest side of the building again shows windows blown in by the external air pressure caused by the explosion. Here, however, the windows in the southeast wall were blown out rather than in. A look inside the hospital shows chairs in the same position as at the time of the blast. The backs of the chairs, which faced zero point, were flash burned through the window. The mohair upholstery fabric was singed down to the base of the nap. The effect on this wall, which faced zero point, was almost identical with the damage done by the explosion to the opposite wall. In addition, interior partitions were knocked down. Looking toward zero point from the roof of the Red Cross Hospital a mile away, the tremendous destruction created by the first atomic bomb can be seen. Army vehicles of our occupying forces are moving through the city streets. Here, Looking in the opposite direction toward the south, away from zero point, only a few masonry foundation walls remain, and what is left of one reinforced concrete building. Looking west, still a mile from zero point, the only sign of a small industrial plant is a lone concrete smokestack. Temporary housing facilities built with scrap material have been thrown up in the area. No matter what kind of construction the Japanese used, whether it consisted of wooden frame and mud plaster walls as here, or wooden lav and plaster veneer construction, they made no attempt to zone their various types of buildings. Barracks, homes, industrial centers of steel and reinforced concrete, factory buildings of brick construction, 
all were crowded together with no apparent regard for the safety of the civilian population. Within an area of a mile to a mile and a half, there was almost complete destruction except for some reinforced concrete buildings. From one and a half to two miles, there was severe damage by fire and moderate damage by blast. From two to six miles, there was minor damage by blast and fire, varying from damaged roofs to broken windows. These wooden buildings, a mile and a half from the center of the blast, were all subject to fires of secondary origin. The Higashi Railroad Station in East Hiroshima, one and a half miles from zero point, although still in use, was extensively damaged. The marquee crumbled from the force of the blast and has been removed. When the marquee fell, it pulled the brick veneer off part of the building. Inside of the station, steel beams supporting the roof were twisted out of shape, and the concrete walls, though still standing, show the effects of the tremendous concussion. This high school building, the same distance from zero point as the railroad station, had its north wall smashed in by the blast. The second story of the north wall was especially badly damaged. Looking through a bombed out section of the wall to zero point, notice that not all the buildings in this area were as severely damaged as the schoolhouse. A portion of the wall of the school was blown in across the desks and partitions were shifted. The high school wall farthest from the zero point now bulges in the direction of the blast and all glass was blown out of the window frame. Between zero point and the main building of the novitiate of Jesuits four miles away was a hill which served to lessen the intensity of the blast. Yet, despite this protection, all the windows were shattered and part of the wall blown in. The chapel, which is the left wing of the building, is built of timber with plaster walls. The glass in the doors of the main entrance foyer were shattered and the paneled ceiling was blown loose by the force of the explosion occurring four miles away. <laughs> 